So this is a uh, Byfield Brown uh, saucer. Um, the top canopy uh, is essentially, it's a parabola. Um, there's a dielectric separator, uh, which is polystyrene. That's about four and a half centimeters long. Um, here is a, a lower uh, electrode. Uh, it's not connected to anything. In actual fact, this is a concentrator. Uh, this thing is is similar to a parabolic dish reflector. Um, so in actual fact, this is the uh, you know this this is the parabolic reflector. This is the uh, parabolic dish. This is a reflector, and this is um, a secondary electrode. So with uh, twelve volts, as you can see, it lifts up. So and it's arcing um, from the electrode to the uh, uh, concentrator in a geometric sensor. So yeah, uh, saucer as a parabolic dish. So that's six amps, 12 volts to get that kind of lift. And I'm gonna have a look at even bigger ones. Example of uh, parabola saucer uh, with Simply, uh, it's just got a, a wooden separator between the um, dish reflector and the concentrator electrode. Um, so essentially the dielectric in this case is, is air. So this is uh, again, about 12 volts air dielectric. So this flies very, very well with the air dielectric. That's air. So this is an example of what happens if you get the geometry wrong. Because in this case, uh, yeah, the spacing is okay, but um, the ge geometry of the uh, the canopy is incorrect. It should be a, it should be a parabola. Um, so yeah, you get some, you, you might get some lift, but it's not going to be uh, as good as it would be if it was uh, properly concentrated. 